Okay, I'd like to show you how to turn your FT991 radio into a very nice uh, SDR radio. I have SDR Uno hooked up. So whatever stations I click on here on the on the uh, waterfall, the radio goes right to it. I'll click on it. And the radio will follow it along. You can either click on it on the screen or you can turn the dial and look at it and some digital over there. So it makes a very useful tool to a radio that uh, costs uh, thousands of more dollars. You got the RSP1A hooked up into a USB port here. That's the HDMI cable. Then I got a keyboard hooked up in the next one and then this is the RSP1A in case you're wondering. And that's the USB cord that goes to the back of the FD991 right there. So, it's really nice because uh, you can click on uh, lower sideband here. And then I can go to 80 meters, just click the button. And the radio goes to 80 meters. And um, I can look at the whole 80 meter band just by looking at it with one glance. 3,500 is over here, and 4,000 is up here. Okay. <clears throat> what you want to do here is uh, have SDR Uno opened up. Have your radio hooked up. Have SDR Play hooked up. The only problem I can have right now is I don't have a protective transmitting switch, so I I can't transmit while I um, uh, got this hooked up because I'll blow up the uh, front end of the RSP uh, 1A. So I'm working on that. But for now, it's really good because I do a lot of listening. You hit the settings button up here on your uh, RX window. The cat command. <clears throat> and... Uh, Device Manager is the enhanced standard. We have an enhanced and a standard COM port. COM3, um, using the enhanced COM port. The baud rate is 38400. Click Enable and Connect. I do not have RX mode control clicked. I have it open. I don't. And then go to the next tab, ORIG, Rig 1 is selected, Sync VRX is selected, Sync Rig VRX is selected. I do not have Sync Center Frequency selected, I have that unselected. And Sync RX Mode is selected. So over here where the box on CAT control says RX Mode Control is unchecked, over here it is checked. Okay, but the most important thing is this knob right here, this little button where it says RSYN1, Rig Sync 1. Okay, you have to click that button right there. Then you have to go over to the other settings control over here on the uh, control of the on off button of our SDR and hit the settings button. And you go to the ORIG tab, and as you can see, it says Rig 1 type, FD991, Rig 1 status, online, Rig 1 used by, VRX. In Rig 2, uh, there's nothing hooked up on Rig 2. So don't forget over here in this uh, RX window, you got to click this knob right here, or follow the mouse here if you can see it, um, RSYN1. When that's not selected, uh, you can't. Uh, you can still click and receive stations, but the radio won't track it. 
So uh, I had to shut my radio off, turn it back on, shut SDR Uno down after I had all the settings connected. Completely shut everything down and restart it with the new settings and um, I was in business. So if you want to go to AM mode, just click AM right up there in the mode button there. There isn't really any AM stations at the moment here on the 80 meters, but uh, there's a sideband button. And all we got to do is just go over here. Just like that. Thirty six eighty, I'm on here just by chance. And uh, there you have it. So I uh, hope and encourage all you guys to do a project and uh, make make things funner and more enjoyable for you. Uh, turn your FD nine nine one into a very powerful radio. And uh, the only thing I don't have set up is a way to transmit yet but I'm working on that so uh, this is part one I want to come out with part two in a little later because uh, there's some really cool options you can do if you have a two meter uh, antenna hooked up to the SDR play uh, you can use a scanner in SDR Uno and you can scan the whole aircraft band and uh, because the radio FT991 will pick up aircraft it is a lot of fun so good luck, 7-3s. This is N0PDG out.